can I ask a dumb question here? How Absolutely. hard is that? How hard is that? Like I've talked to people who've gone like, oh, no, we can't do that on SD. That would be like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going like, that's exactly what it's like. Full mesh architectures are exactly. Is it so <laughs> is it rocket science? Is it magic what yeah. you're doing? Did you spend years mastering secret SD-WAN arts? <laughs> like, like I, I do have the on black CCIE, art. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's know. a secret cult I hate to join. And uh, I've got a stamp on my inner, you know, wrist here that uh, <laughs> makes you part of the Did society. Did you get a special number to be able I, to do this? Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. There's a handshake too. So once you get that, I, I can explain it, explain it to you. But yeah. before that, no, but honestly, it was unbelievably easy. So again, you know, not to, not to really say how great our, our solution was, but for us, it was a perfect solution. We set up a, a POC and our POC was hundred percent live setup. So we were not committed to it. We set up and once they set it up, it was ours. And then when we went live, it would, there was not a switch to production. It was as it would be if it was in production. We tested out a couple of job sites and making changes is unbelievably easy. We were a cloud-based orchestrator. It's called and so we want to change the uh, the business intent overlays or how the routing works. Or from when we switched it, we played around with it a little bit. We were ex- hub and spoke initially uh, because on on the surface it seems to make sense, right? We're only going to a couple spots, um, but as we grew and as we kind of play with it more, it made a lot more sense to make it a, a mesh setup. And that has its own challenges too. But to switch it to a mesh, it takes maybe two minutes to make that change, mm-hmm. and then you can see the changes push out across the the um, the fabric. And you see the additional tunnels, tunnels come online and it's working. It's great. It's easy. You know where I think some people might get upset about uh, full mesh or think it's really difficult. They did a DMVPN phase three. Things oh, didn't go well. There were problems <laughs> because to get that yeah. right, I, I've, I've done this with multiple hubs to yeah. get that right. God, it's be fussy. A, be a, this, yeah. a, a, the, the paragraph for one interface to get all the bits right with uh, MGRE and NHRP and yep. uh, the crypto stuff, and then to yep, get it for HP. full mesh and the routing correct yeah, exactly. for whatever your underlying routing transport is, is a lot. There's a lot of moving yep. pieces there. Yep. So maybe that's where the history is. What you've basically done, Man, Michael, that makes since sense. you're not, this, this is this is an SD-WAN solution you're using, yep. um, not a DMVPN solution. A lot of it's just handled for you by the solution. Man, and so I, I can feel exactly what you're saying because we were a, a traditional VPN, point-to-point VPN, site-to-site VPN setup before we went to this, and it was, it was, it was awful, right? Because you had to have uh, a high-level, <laughs> a high-level Cisco person that knows uh, not just VPN tunnels but routing and and all the all the stuff you just talked about. And every and the time the entire a, bug database related to that technology. Yes. Oh. You have a half a dozen people in the tech support organization who exactly. knew him That's by exactly name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> oh. man you're exactly right that's exactly what it was and it was a bear because you know one thing went down and it was a, each instance was its own separate project you know they were handled individually there's no central orchestration there was no and then oh god if you ever want to do an update to a, a cisco you know vpn network you've got more than like five devices holy i mean that's a, that's a year <laughs> in the making because you know you got <laughs> it's unbelievable no one wants that and so yeah. we I, the first thing i did when i got to uh, in this environment I was like man that's that we were getting rid of that because it, it was it's horrible it's slow the overhead it was just it was a, it's a dying solution for in our perspective right there's places for it don't get me wrong i think there's a lot of valuable use cases but for us it was just far more maintenance than it was ever going to be worth. And now mm. we we so don't have it, to have those high level. It just wasn't mystical. This wasn't. Yeah, it doesn't no, cool it, either. It, it's not cool. I, and I think also one of the things that you didn't, uh, that, that I hear is you also got to see what was going on. You didn't have these arcane CLI yep. commands that you were spitting out the tips That's of exactly. your fingers. All UI based. Yep. Yeah, you could. You were actually getting visibility. So every time you lit up these features, you get charts and graphs and GUIs yep. and and visibility and monitoring tools. And it didn't. Hmm. Well, and the thing is, it's funny because it's it, you, the hardcore Cisco guys, it's a badge of honor, right? I mean, like if you use a UI, you're, you know, you're shunned, you know, I, I love the guys and I love those guys, right? If, if, they, if they, you walk up their desktop and they've got the Linux, you know, they're, they're typing emails in command line, like they, that's, just, that's their thing. And they'll, they'll, they'll mock you relentlessly because you've got a, you know, a user interface to your, you know, your computer. And so I think it is, a lot of those guys are maybe hard to change and, and there's a, a a resistance to that because it feels like for it to work this well, it's got to be complicated and it's got to be, you got to do it in the, you know, you got to type it out because that's the only way to do it. And they've made it to come so far recently where we don't need CCIEs anymore on our, on our, mm-hmm. on our environment. We, 
we have, uh, I've got level two, level one field guys that go set up, self, set up our SD WAN. They plug it in, it calls yeah. home and you don't even need to set it up. You literally deploy it, plug it in. It gets a, an address. It contacts the orchestrator in the cloud. It pulls its configuration. It builds its tunnels and you're off, right? You've got a, a couple, all you got to do is, it, is type in a static IP and it's, it's a no brainer. You know, my cost goes down significantly. And that's the thing too. VPN can be cheap, right? You can do VPN cheap from a capital expense. You know, we're all a bunch of ASAs, you know, pretty inexpensive in the grand scheme of things. SD-WAN is a lot more upfront cost from a capital expense and even ongoing the licensing and WAN optimization, all that stuff. But your quality of service, the expertise you have to have on site is far outweighs the the extra cost it costs to roll out. So, I, I mean, that's I'm a fan. I love it. It's been great. Well, you talk about the CLI huggers and the router huggers and such. It's a shame that we're still at the place where how we get to the result is somehow still more important than the result yep. itself yep. for yep. some people. It's like, no, it's not. Yep. The business doesn't yep. care how capable you are banging away at the keyboard to get that result. It does not matter. If there's a UI there, if there's an API, if there's some yep. overarching tool that can get that job done, do it faster and with fewer errors, yep. and then allow the system to scale over time in an easy way. Where you, As you said, Michael, you can put out a level one, level two guy out into the field and have them uh, turn that thing up with a yep. little incident. That's yep. exactly what you want. It, you, we shouldn't have to have you, it's not even a debate. Why would you? Why is that an argument? You know, but I still I've got Cisco devices. You're like, man, what version of Java do I need to install to get the stupid, you know, <laughs> UI to run? You know, it's just like, are you kidding? This is I can't believe you know. 